Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna see how to draw a monarch butterfly, how to draw a realistic one. First draw a 14 centimeter line and then 9.5 centimeter on the breadth. So divide the 14 centimeter into two halves, that is seven centimeter each, draw a straight line. Then cut the 9.5 into five and 4.5. This is for the four wings and the hind wings. So basically the butterfly, the wings has to be symmetrical. So it's 5, 4.5. So it's 9.5. And 7 on each side. So down below, draw a 1.5 centimeter mark. And then draw a straight line for that. So 1.5 centimeter each draw the head followed by the body so that the body reaches the line and then the tail portion thinner than the body one from the head the neck region you have to start the wings just go till the top more layer just a bit of curve and then come inwards a little inward mark a line on it to stop with little inward and then stop over there just above the body portion the hind wings just touch the line on both sides and then just reach the half of the tail the reason for drawing based on the measurements is to draw symmetric wings both the size if you can do without measurements it's well and good beginners can follow the measurements draw another inner lines for the segments now start erasing the line in the ma the measurements now darken the outline little bit of feathery touch in it the monarch butterfly has more segments which is like a bright yellow red in it so it's up to you to draw two or three segments I'm here doing two followed by some smaller segments Make sure you fill in those gaps when doing the segments. Tiny bit of colored ones. Same for the hind wings. Do like a small, like a thinner segments for the, for these wings than the upper wings. Again, fill in the gaps with the smaller segments. And it has few white dots in it, so draw some circles. Later we can fill in. Some circles on the side. Now draw the antenna, tiny one, and one small proboscis. 
in the middle now start coloring leave the eye area and color it Use the gray in, in, in the middle or if you can you can leave it white. Now start coloring slowly the feather. The more slower you do, the more better results you get. Fill in all the portions leaving for the segments. So I'll fill in with black color. Now start using the orange yellow. The upper part of the uh, butterfly uh, is more darker. So next is the dark yellow followed by the lemon yellow. Leaving the white dots, rest of it just fill in with these colors. Now use orange. Towards the body and the tail, it has to be darker. Now use the red to highlight the border. Now use the darker yellow to blend all the colors together so it gives a bright red reddish orange. Blend it properly. As I said, the upper one is a bit darker, the lower one is a bit lighter, so more of yellow in the lower wings. So lemon yellow for everything and then the darker yellow followed by that. And a little bit of orange touch in it. Just blend it with the darker yellow. A little bit of uh, red for the highlight towards the body. Again, start blending equally. Now, start coloring the blanks with black. When you're doing this, make sure you do really slow. It took almost like 30 minutes for me, but I have given this faster version. Thank you. 
just do the same way for the other one Again, leave the um, circles and then start coloring around that. Make sure there is no white mark in it. Blend equally the black color. And we are done. Now darken any white spots you see. Um, for the 3D look, we have to shade in. Around the right side of the butterfly, hold your pencil in a slanting position and start shading. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. I'll see you again in next tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, comment below. Blend the shadow. This gives the perfect realistic and 3D look. Thank you for watching guys.